A news article released by CNN grabbed little attention. Maybe more of us would have noticed it if we did not get sidetracked by the great Black Friday deals flashing next to it. Even for space enthusiasts like me, I failed to notice this news till just now. I was busy reading the follow-up story about the interstellar asteroid Omaumau. The cigar-shaped visitor, I believe, is actually a spaceship since its discovery on October 19, 2017. Let's be fair, the Omaumau discovery did mark a new era in space. We now have a confirmed sighting of the first interstellar object, in a shape we can't explain, and at a speed hard to imagine and with a flight path out of a science fiction novel. It is most likely a spaceship, but scientists insist on calling it a rock. Maybe we should just call Omaumau a rock star. That and other recent discoveries proves that space is full of surprises, and we really don't know all that much about it. For example, do you know the legendary Planet X does exist? There is evidence in Wikipedia about a large planet in our solar system with a highly elliptical orbit. It may be the planet Sumerians, called Nibiru, or we can call it Trumrumrum, or Kinanen. It may arrive in 20 years or 20,000 years. But what we thought to be impossible has now been proven. Maybe I should not have brought up Nibiru as it is a very controversial topic. Some people have said Nibiru will be here soon. Some have said it already passed, and some think we should lock up anyone who believes in Nibiru, because most of us can't see Nibiru in the night sky. So most people believe that if it does exist, it must be light years away, right? Yes and no. Let me point you to the story I read yesterday on Omaumau our interstellar visitor. Scientists called Omaumau moving fast. Quote, it is now 124 million miles from Earth, about the distance between Mars and Jupiter. It will pass Saturn's orbit in January 2019 and then leave our solar system. Okay, think about it. If we did not see Omaumau till it flew by and passed us, and it takes only another year for it to fly out of our solar system. How much time do you think we will have when... So, don't get excited over news like this, but try to read between the lines. Let's now look at the news I found on November 15. Scientists announced a newly discovered planet 11 light years away that could support life. It is exoplanet Ross 128b. It orbits its star Ross 128 every 9.9 .9 days. Ross 128b is not only similar to Earth in size, but also has a similar surface temperature and mild radiation exposure. It is 1.38 times our radiation on Earth. It is in a quiet neighborhood, as its sun rarely has solar outburst like Proxima Centauri, our closest neighbor and Trappist-1, the neighbor 39 light years away with seven rocky planets. I don't know where scientists get their data from, but they seem to know so much about these exoplanets. But clueless on other basic information. For example, we know its surface temperature and the exact radiation exposure, but not sure if it is in the Goldilocks zone? Even for that, finding a habitable exoplanet this close is exciting. However, the most intriguing part of the story is not about the planet, but its movement. Do you know Ross 128, currently 11 light years away, is moving towards us? According to CNN, Ross 128 will be our closest star in 79,000 years. Assuming the numbers and calculations are all correct, Let's see what that may mean. Our current closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away. This means Ross 128 needs to move seven light years in 79,000 years to claim the closest spot. 
Seven light years means four billion one hundred and sixteen thousand million miles. Divide that by 79,000, you will get 521 million miles per year, or 1.427 million miles per day, which is 59,476 miles per hour and 991 miles per minute. Basically, these two stars are moving towards each other at 16.5 miles per second. How fast is that? The fastest rocket we have is 376 miles per hour. Compare that with 59,476 miles per hour, the speed at which Ross 128 is approaching us. If you still have no idea how fast that is, consider the average speed of the recent interstellar visitor. A 2017 U1 is traveling at 16.26 miles per second, and that is slower than the speed of Ross 128 is approaching our sun. You may wonder if we are crazy worrying about a star that far away. Well, think about it this way. It may take 79,000 years for Ross to become our closest neighbor, but it won't stop there. What will happen if it is on a collision course with us? What happens if there are other stars like it? What if those are even closer or move faster? Have you heard about the binary star system? Can Ross 128 be our sun's twin? If not, why do these two stars run so fast towards each other? Many scientists think our sun is part of a binary star system. Could Ross 128 be part of our long lost family? Do you know how big our solar system is? Based on what we know today, I see objects orbiting the sun can be as far as 1.87 light years away. This means Ross 128 can move into our solar system at current speeds in just 100,000 years. What do you call it if you don't want to call that nemesis? Isn't it funny how much information may come out when you digest what is in the news? You may not have all the information to get a conviction. But I will vote for indictment based on what we have now. Hopefully, we will soon know more to zoom in on finding our son's twin. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.